today in the video lecture we will study in engineering drawing the topic name is projection of point and line first of all i have to study i have to explain you the introduction for the projection of point and line this mo model consists of two plane the first plane is horizontal plane and this plane is the vertical plane the horizontal plane will always in the horizontal direction and the vertical plane will always in the vertical direction now here this plane is divided into two four quadrants the first quadrant it is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant in the downward direction and same it is the fourth quadrant same in the downward direction now in the projection of point the question will be arise that find out the projection of point and pro uh, and uh, its true shape in the horizontal and vertical plane uh, first of all i have to know i have to give the, some introduction about the location of the point for example it is a first quadrant now if a point assume that the point is situated in the first quadrant now we have to, now the observer have to see in the front view and the top view for example the observer will see the point in this direction then the projection will be happen in the vertical plane so the front view will be the projected in the vertical plane and when the project when the observer see the point in the vertical direction means the top direction top view then the projection will be happen on the horizontal plane now same the projection for the point in the front view and the top view will be happen on the vertical plane that is for the front view and for the horizontal plane that is for the top view now the condition for the projection is the projection will be takes place or the projection will arise only in the vertical direction so we have to take we have to rotate the horizontal plane in the 90 degree clockwise direction in the 90 degree clockwise direction so that the both the planes will be in the vertical direction the point the junction point which divide the vertical plane and horizontal plane is said to be as the xy line this line is considered to be as an xy line which is the junction of the vertical plane and horizontal plane so that the point should be the projection of point should be in the vertical line vertical direction so it is the introductory part for the point and it may be situated in any quadrant means in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant as per the given question now when the point is situated in the first quadrant for example the point is situ this point is situated in the first quadrant then it will be in front of vertical plane it will be the in front of vertical plane and above the horizontal plane having the given di given dimensions for example if the point is situated in the second quadrant then the point will be situated behind the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane if the point is situated in the third quadrant in the third quadrant then the point will be situated in the uh, below vertical sorry below horizontal plane and behind vertical plane same in the fourth quadrant when the point is situated in this quadrant then the point will be situated at Uh, below the vertical horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane the direction of the observer will be the same for example when the direction is watching in this direction then the front view and top view will be in the same plane that is in the vertical plane and horizontal horizontal plane as per the given condition now after the introduction we will see some notifications that is very useful to solve the examples now here the following notifications should be noted while naming the different views in the orthographic projections here when we see in the top view that is when we see from the top view the points will be located in the horizontal plane right so this point is denoted as a small a for example it is a point a and when we see from the top view then this point is is named as small a or the line when we see from the top view that we will study further it is uh, it is denoted as small ab line small ab same in the case of the front view 
the point A is for the front view the point A is denoted as small a dash and the line AB is denoted as small a dash b dash and same for the, for the side view the point A is denoted as a double dash and line AB is denoted as A double dash and B double dash. We will keep this standard format so that we can able to define, we can able to determine the top view, front view and side view. In the same manner, we can able to give the name of the lines like, we can able to give the numerals like 1, 2 and 3 for the top view, front view and side view. In same manner as 1, 2 etc for the top view, 1 dash, 2 dash. 3 dash etc for the front view and 1 2 3 double dash for the side view these are the specific basic notations which is standard now it is the plane it is the mode i have a model of horizontal plane and vertical plane and same it is a horizontal plane and vertical plane in which this point is this plane is vertical plane which is blue in color and this plane is the horizontal plane see, see uh, this is the vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane now this is the xy line this line is the xy line as we can see in the figure okay now there are four quadrants as we i had explained earlier first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant it is the observer okay when we see from the direction of the observer as seen in the figure the front view will be on the vertical plane and the top view will be on the horizontal plane okay this is this is the two dimensional figure so when we see in this model when we see from the front direction from this direction then the xy line this xy line is converted into the single point so the xy line will merge and convert into the single point this line will be the horizontal line horizon line of the horizontal vertical plane and this line will be the line of the horizontal plane this is the line of vertical plane line of horizontal plane it is observer it is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant the terms above and below with respect to the horizontal plane and the terms in front and behind with respect to the vertical plane in all the four quadrants means when the term above and below the horizontal plane it will be on it will be defined for the with respect to the horizontal plane and when the term will be on the behind <coughs> and in front it will be the terms for the vertical plane it is a standard format okay now we will see the different quadrants the, the location of point in different quadrants now as we can see in the figure the point a is situated in the first quadrant that is in this quadrant now the observer when the observer see from this direction as shown in figure the point a in the front view will be located on the vertical plane that is the projection of the point a is situated in the vertical plane as we can see in the figure and its name is a dash why a dash because we are we are watching in the front view so the for the uh, application for the front view the notations of the front view in the vertical plane is denoted as a dash same when the observer will see from the top view then the projection will be applied the pro projection will be applied on the horizontal plane and it is denoted as a now as, as i told earlier that the projection of the horizontal plane which is located from the top view will be rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction in the 90 degree clockwise direction so the both the line will be the same so in this figure this line is rotated in the clockwise direction and so the point a dash which was the projection of vertical which was the projection of the front view and the point a which is the projection for the top view will be located in the same line means in the same vertical line now we will see 
the location of point A in the second quadrant. Okay. Now, the, in the question, the location of point A will be given in the fixed dimension with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. That is, for the point A, the fixed dimension will be given in, with respect to the horizontal plane and vertical plane, so that we can able to understand the fixed fixed position of point A in any quadrant, whether it is first, second, third, or fourth. Now, the now we will study the pro location of point A in the second quadrant. The direction of the observer will be the same. Now, when we see from the front view, then the projection of the front view will be applied on the vertical plane and it is noted as A dash. Same. When we see from the top view, the notation will be A dash, but it will be rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction. So, we have to understand that the location of the point A will be only in the 90 degree clockwise direction when it is situated in the horizontal plane. It is the must. If we denote in the anti-clockwise direction, the example will be wrong. Now, the location of point A in the third quadrant, it is the, lo the uh, direction of the observer will be the same. This is point A. Now, when the observer will see in the front view, then the location will be on the vertical plane. Its projection is denoted as A dash. Now, when the, pro when the observer will see in the top view, then its projection will be applied on the horizontal plane. And it is, it is rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction. And the point A will be on the vertical line because the horizontal plane will be rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction. Now last, the point A in the fourth quadrant. It is the fourth quadrant, horizontal plane, vertical plane, the direction of the observer will be the same. It is the point A. Now when the observer see in the front view, then the its projection will be applied on the vertical plane, which is named as A dash. When the observer will see from the top view, its projection will be applied on the horizontal plane. And the same procedure when the hori and horizontal plane is rotated in the clockwise direction in 90 degree, so the plane is sorry the point will be on the same line that is A in the downward direction downward vertical direction. So when the point A is in first quadrant, then the A dash and A that is A dash will be in the ab will above XY line and A dash will be below x, y line as we can see in the figure. In the point when it is situated in the second quadrant then both A and A dash will be situated above x, y line and when the point is situated in the third quadrant then the point A will be above the x, y line and A dash will be below x, y line and in the last when the point is situated in the fourth quadrant then the point A and A dash will lie below X, Y line. Now the basic concept for drawing the projection of point. Okay, as we, we have studied earlier that the front view and top view of a point always lies in the same vertical line. The vertical line is the must because if the projection will be applied on the horizontal plane then the project then the horizontal plane will be rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction so that both the points of front view and top view will be applied on the same vertical line the second one the front view of a point p capital p which is the notation of point is represented by small p dash that is when we d when we take uh, take the projection from from the for from the front view then the notation will be of small p dash and it shows the position of the point with respect to the horizontal plane uh, when we see from the front view if there is any point when we see from the front view then its projection will be on the vertical plane so this projection of vertical plane will resp with will uh, will be respect with the horizontal plane right now in the next one if the point lies above horizontal plane 
small p dash lies above the x y line that is when the point when any point lies above the horizontal plane when the point lies above horizontal plane then its location of the p lies above x y line this is our x y line when we do the projection from the front view then the point the projection of the point will lie above the x y line right now if the point lies in the horizontal plane that is if the point lies in any plane in any point in the horizontal plane, at any point not in any distance not far away from the horizontal plane not far away from the vertical plane but in the horizontal plane now we will see the projection of the point from the front view then its projection will be happen on the xy line that is if the point lies in the horizontal plane the p dash means small p dash lies in the xy line if the point lies below the horizontal plane that is when the, it is the horizontal plane if the point lies anywhere below the horizontal plane then it lies then the projection of the point p dash lies below the xy line it is the xy line and its projection lies below the xy line at any given desired distance now after the top front view we will consider the top view here if the in top view if the top view of a point p capital p is represented by the point small p for the front view the point p is represented by small p dash and in the case of top view the point p is represented by the small p and it shows the position of the point with respect to the vertical plane so for the top view the projections or the dimensions will be given of any point with respect to the vertical plane and it is denoted any projection will be denoted by small p dash now if the point p lies in front of the vertical plane small p lies below the x y line that is if the point p lies in front of vertical plane for example it is our first quadrant if the point p lies in front of vertical plane then its uh, projection for from the top view will lies in the horizontal plane 